What is up everybody? Hungry Cabigon here. Got some uh, random stuff for you today. Uh, basically, I'm going to be off work until the 7th of May. Uh, at this stage, we'll see what happens, um, if we can go back to work or not. But um, the good thing is I'm still getting paid, so that is nice. It also means I have a lot of free time on my hands, so uh, don't really have anywhere to go. Uh, but I have so much stuff that I have accumulated over my time in Japan that I've never made videos of, and uh, I'm going to be digging through boxes and just making random videos. So look forward to that. I have so many capture toys. So many. Like, I just have a giant box full of them. Um, so I'm going to show you some today. So these are some... Uh, I'm going to show you today. We've got six. These are some more weird Japanese capsule toys. So six of them for you today. Let's see what we have. Um, so kind of got an interesting variety today. I'm going to roll up the sleeves. Uh, some of them, unfortunately, you can already see what it is just from looking because they're um, clear capsules, which is a bit annoying. Oh, this one still has tape. thought I took all the tape off. Apologies for that. Eh, give me one second. Yeah, I thought that I took all the tape off, but I hope you guys are up for seeing some weird and wonderful random stuff because I have a lot of it. And um, yeah, just since I moved, like stuff all got put into boxes and I'm just kind of starting to go through it all now and seeing the extent of what I actually have, which is ridiculous. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just going to start making videos with it. Here we go. Uh, we're in. So we should be at it. There we go. Okay. So let's have a look what this one is. Okay. It's not a severed dog head. You'll see what it is when I take it out. So basically, I just thought this one was kind of weird. <laughs> so I, I bought it. Ooh. It's uh, it's basically a pug, and uh, because you know they're known as being kind of ugly dogs, he's wearing a uh, a toy poodle suit to try to trick people into thinking that he's a cute dog. So I guess you just like have it on display like that, like he's just finished a hard shift of being a toy poodle, and he's uh, just got the suit off. But look at his face. <laughs> I like it. It's good. Um, all right, so that's the first one. Let's have a look what other options there were that we could have got. Uh, so what's it called? Narisumashi. Animal attraction. <laughs> okay. So we've got the the toy poodle uh, pug in two different colors. There's a... <laughs> I like this one a lot. It's like the really flat-faced cat, but it's got like a cute cat's face. And then that one is just a bear that's uh, pretending to be a panda, which is kind of cool. I dig that. I wish I got that cat one, actually. That's pretty good. Um, let's have a look at the, this one. So this is another kind of weird one. This was like a Zangief collection from Street Fighter. And it says um, on here something about the color, because the color is weird. Another color version. Um, so. Basically, he's doing his, like, uh, Russian dance. Interesting. The face quality is probably not what I would have wanted. He appears to have no eyeballs. Um, but he's doing his little kick. Get in there. Oh, it's quite hard to get that to fit in there. There we go. And it does have a little stand. Um, how does it go? This way? This way. This way, I guess. Maybe it doesn't actually matter. No, wait, I gotta read the instructions because this can do something special. I see, okay, so he goes that way. Uh, okay, his leg can rest in there. So he goes in like so, like so. And allegedly this is a, uh, a smartphone holder. <laughs> So let's see if it actually works. Um, so supposedly it works like, like that. 
So also, <laughs> this one where he's doing his spinny move where he can you can wrap like headphones around him or something. This one is for holding uh, rings or like rubber bands or whatever. And then this one is a pen holder where he's like body slamming somebody. Um, let's try with my phone and see if it works. So I guess it just goes like that. Or am I supposed to put it in there? My phone's got a case on it, it doesn't really fit. Hmm. Doesn't <laughs> seem to work, but maybe it's just because it's on a slippery surface. We'll try it. I actually have another interesting phone holder, which I found, which just reminded me. It's this uh, other Street Fighter one, Dell Sim. Look at him. Pew! And like, you can put it like this and then you use the suction cup on your phone. I like this one because he's got ridiculously stretched arms. Looks so good. Anyway, I tested that one. It actually does work. Um, okay, so Zangief. All right, what do we got next? What is this one? Uh, this is um, what's his name? Damborg. I need to actually cut this one open. I feel bad, like actually opening half this stuff because I'm. I don't know. I like to keep stuff like in mint condition, but. What's the point if you can't enjoy it, right? I mean, if it was like a $500 collectible piece, you know, maybe I would be more inclined to keep it in the box, but this is, it costs like two bucks, these things, so you know, whatever. So it's um, damn board, he's like a cardboard box man, but it's a train carriage. So he's got like this, um, this freight company, like train carriage head. It's quite big and, um, Looks like it would be quite annoying to have a head so big. And he's got a little stand. I assume he can fit right in there. Like this. <laughs> yeah. And he should stand up. If we try it. Yeah, he does. Stands up quite nicely. So that's pretty good. I got this though because there was there was a couple that I wanted to get. I didn't get the one that I wanted. Uh, unfortunately. There you go. <laughs> There's a picture of them with some little toy trains just looking weird, you can get like the regular carriage, that's the one that I got. Um, and it's Kangaroo, the company is called Kangaroo. Um, oh jeez, this thing is big. So these are the ones we could get, it's just like some pretty regular ones, they're all different companies. I really wanted to get this one, just because it's really long, it just says Nogo, which means long. Um, you can get a little shipping container, and then um, there's a little forklift as well, which is kind of cool. They had a different set of these once that I bought, and they had a, a Nissan one, and I really wanted to get that, but I didn't. Boo. Um, so that's the third one down. Uh, let's try this golden looking one. Uh, I remember this. <laughs> it's so stupid. So basically, like, if you've ever been to or seen uh, pictures of Singapore, you've seen the Mer Lion. This is just basically a. Uh, a mer elephant because yeah reasons and it comes with not a stream of water coming out of his mouth but a stream of apples i guess looks like apples maybe some kind of fruit and you put that into his mouth <laughs> and uh yeah he's just got a, a stream of apples coming out of his mouth because, just because. So if you put it like that, you can kind of see, yeah, there we go. This is probably not the best camera angle for this sort of thing, but I don't want to readjust everything for each video. Ah, I should have looked at that paper. Where's the paper? Because there were some other weird ones in there. I can't remember which one I actually wanted to get. So there's a rabbit that's got uh, carrots. There's a penguin with fish, a monkey with bananas, and a panda with bamboo. Pretty good. I like it. This company, Panda No Anna, they make the best ones. All the, like, all the really weird ones come from them, it seems like. All their stuff is quite strange. But I like it. Okay, what's this one? Ooh, yes. Chakurel Planet. One of my favorites. There's lots of different sets of these. We've got a... Is it a sea lion or a seal? I, I think it's a sea lion, right? They're the bigger ones. Just with a big old chin. That's just what all the Chakrael planet animals have. 
I actually saw soon they're going to release a set of dinosaur ones, which I'm super excited about. So I'm definitely going to get some of them. He looks pretty good. Um, this was like a, you know, like Arctic or like snow kind of animal ones. This is Chakra Planet 3. So there's a polar bear. There's a, what does it say? Reindeer? Reindeer? There's a, um, <laughs> a giant wolf, a uh, penguin, and some little weasels. Why do they live in the snow? I don't know. But um, that one's pretty good. I like that one. And the last one, this one is weird. So it is uh, the Statue of Liberty in all various strange poses. Again, I didn't get the one I wanted for this one because I remember there was one that was, um, well, I'll show you. So it's got a little base. Uh, we got the, the body. Head goes like so. And then the arms. Oh, this is going to be kind of weird to put in. And so basically what she's doing, I thought at first it was like the concha, like the fingers in the... But uh, it's actually holding a um, Meishi, a name card. And that's like the pose you adopt when you give it to someone. Maybe not so <laughs> pronounced, but you, you give stuff to people and you receive stuff from people with two hands. That's the polite way to do it. So it's just the Statue of Liberty. Oh, get in there. Giving someone their name card. Why can I not get that to go in? Some of this stuff, I think... Uh, doesn't really fit together very well. That's what you get when you buy stuff that costs like $2 though from a vending machine. Can't expect too much, but <laughs> it looks pretty good. I like it. It's out of focus though. What's going on? Focus. There we go. Ta-da! It's pretty good. Not bad. Um, there was one in particular I remember so there's that one. There's the, uh, is that putting on deodorant? I guess that one. Uh, I like this one, the MC one with the glasses and looking cool. There's one holding a, uh, a beer. It says campaign girl, like for a beer commercial. And then there's just sitting in and drinking some tea. So this is series number two. There was another whole series of these. I think that, uh, I like all of them. I like this Zangief. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> Just, I don't know why they made made that kind of thing, but they're all pretty cool. Um, so anyway, let me know what you think, guys. Let me know which one you like the best. Check out the channel for more videos. Um, expect a lot of weird, random stuff to come. Uh, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Take it easy.